Hi friends, this is Ajit from Chennai. So today we are going to see how to install PayPal in Magento. So before going to that, I could like to explain. So what are the topics that has been covered and what are the steps I have followed in this video. So first thing, I am just integrated in PayPal in Magento. So I took some credential from Sandbox account and that has been configured in Magento. And the second thing, we are going to place an order using the PayPal okay so we will start our integrations so yeah already have installed magento package in my local machines so hope everyone could know the paypal could be the pay default payment method that has been installed in magento so for seeing the admin configuration you should go for store configurations yeah from here you can see the sales tab so under sales you need to open the payment methods Yeah, from here we can see the PayPal. So once you click on the configure, so we can see some set of fields that needs to be configure PayPal in Magento. So for that, you should create the PayPal account. So already have login and I have created two account. One is for business and another one is for personal. So business account is nothing but it's the merchant account that needs to be configured in Magento backend. The personal account is nothing but so whoever have the PayPal account, right? That is considered as a PayPal. It's a, considered as a personal account. Sorry. So this uh, this details we are using while we place an order in the front ends. So what are the credentials we need to integrate Magento? So for that we need some PayPal merchant account email. So once we click on the three dots at the end and click on view and edit accounts. So it triggers one pop up. So from there we can get all the credentials that needs to be integrated in Magento. So I take this email ID. Okay. And just paste it in email associated with PayPal account. So this is the optional, but um, better we could follow and paste the email address over here. Then we can easily find out which email merchant account we were using in Merchant Two. And the second one, we should go with the API username and password. Okay, I'm just username. I'm just duplicate the credential in Merchant Two. Okay, and the sandbox mode so currently we are using the sandbox mode so I make it as is and you should enable the PayPal so I'm just make it is okay the enable content should be is yes. the merchant account ID you should come to profile in sandbox accounts so from here you can see the account ID so just duplicate this in merchant to the rest of the configuration you can leave as it is and then click on save Okay, the saving is done. I, whatever the changes we have done in configuration, we must clear the cache. So I am just click on plus Magento cache. It will clear all the caches that has been present in Magento package. it is taking time so even why because i'm using some local setup so that's the reason it will take some time okay the catch is done so i will go to merchant of front end i'm just placing on order using paper I have created only one category as test so in that we can see only one product that is called test products so I'm just click on add to cart okay the product is getting added to cart so once it's added then we can see some successful notification at top of the product Okay, the products is added to cart. I will directly proceed to checkout. Ok, 
okay it's directing checkout page so we should enter a few details over here so i'm just giving some dummy email Okay, from here we can see the PayPal so before clicking here so we should once we click on the PayPal it will trigger the pop-up so from here we should use the personal sandbox account details so I'm just picking it here so we have created the two account one is business right the business has been configured in Magento backend the personal account that we have used for the front end so whenever we click on the pop-up right so this credential we have to use so for that once we click on the three dot and then click on view and edit account so from here we can take the email address okay from here it will ask the username and password of your personal sandbox account Yeah, I'm just forget my password so I'm just generating my password here okay I have updated my password the same password I'm using here yeah why because recently we have updated the password right so that's the reason it will ask again we need to enter the username and password so after entering the username and password as i mentioned in my sandbox account so it's logged in and then it will show the whatever amount that we're going to order the 305 usd so i'm just going with the balance that i have in the paypal account okay when i click on pay now so it will redirect to successful page if everything looks fine then if it's showing any errors it will redirect to shopping cart page let's see what happened yeah finally our paper order got successful in magento i'm just validating in the magento backend and what the status has been updated so just go for sales and orders and we can take the order id that is 07 that i have placed recently right now okay the 07 that i have placed right now using the adjust more okay click on view the order state that I have configured as processing okay Okay, we are using the PayPal Express and yeah, the PayPal status has been verified and status is confirmed. Yeah, I think everything looks fine. Okay, and yeah, invoice is not a generated. So if you want, we can generate. We have the option. So as of now, we have. If you want to create invoice, then we have to click on invoice and we have to submit. So everyone could familiar so how to generate invoice and shipment in Magento. So yeah, I'm just skipping here. 
so if you need any queries or if you need more videos that is related to creating the sandbox accounts or rest of the steps so just add the comments so i will come up with a new videos how to create the sandbox account for merchant and personal and yeah if you like my video just hit the like button so if you want more video related to integrations on magento or front end or ui so whatever so just add me the comments so it will motivate me and i come to know what my users wants to know so based on that i will create my videos so thank you so much bye bye see you on the next tutorial